Greetings to all of you attending the Texas Business Hall of Fame induction dinner. I'm truly touched that Annette asked me to say a few words about Harold for this evening. Harold was a loyal and reliable friend, an incredible example of the power of the American dream. And as many of you know, Harold was born in East Texas, of the son of teachers. It was the Great Depression. In the early years, his family didn't have indoor plumbing or electricity. But that didn't stop Harold from thinking big. Years later, uh, when he had the chance, Harold took a risk to chase the American dream. And as so many Americans do, Harold took his savings and put it into a small business. Over time, and through a lot of hard work, uh, Harold grew his small pharmacy into a chain of stores. And the rest, as they say, is history. As I thought about uh, what I wanted to say to all of you tonight, one word kept coming up, heart. Harold uh, had a lot of it. He loved his family, he loved Texas, and he loved his country. Uh, so much of Harold's life was devoted to helping others so they could have the same shot to succeed that he did. Harold was a great businessman, but even greater American. His generosity and his passion will benefit generations to come. Before closing, I extend my congratulations to the other Texas legends being honored tonight. Don Evans, Jerry Ford, Doug Hawthorne, Trevor Reese Jones, and Kelsey Warren. So let me just say thank you for honoring Harold. God bless all of you. And may God continue to bless the United States of America. Harold Simmons came from a family of hardworking, educated, God-loving parents. He was raised in Golden, Texas, a small farming town in Wood County, north of Tyler. He received his bachelor's and master's degrees from the University of Texas and earned the Phi Beta Kappa Key, regarded as one of the most distinguished honor societies in history. Went to the University of Texas and uh, majored in economics, came back to Dallas, went to work for a bank, saw the opportunities by uh, meeting a lot, a lot of people, a lot of people that came into the bank, a lot of people that he worked with, being a loan officer and so forth. And through this network, uh, he knew that he wanted to be out on his own and purchased his first uh, drugstore across the street from SMU, and uh, the rest is history. He built a chain of 100 drugstores and in 1973 sold them to the Eckerd Corporation for $50 million in stock. He, he was really kind of a genius with finance and, and uh, what he did. And, and you know, you can, you can watch a man who's done all those things and watch how he acts and watch how he reacts and, and watch how he does things. And, and Harold always did those things with class. Of course, when you meet Harold, you uh, realize that he's a man of few words. And what I was impressed about is what I think everybody is always impressed about, is here is a brilliant person who's really thought about what he's going to say, and he says it in a very few words, and uh, then you get on with things. Simmons was founder, chairman, and CEO of Contran Corporation, a holding company with interests in a variety of industries, from chemicals to timber and real estate. Despite his accumulated fortune, his modest upbringing during the Great Depression no doubt contributed to his lifelong philosophy. Be good to the life that's been good to you. He chaired the Harold Simmons Foundation, which was established in 1988 to provide support for a variety of institutions and programs that focused on healthcare, education, social welfare, civic improvement, and the arts. My opportunity to have an acquaintance with Mr. Simmons was his desire to improve health and well-being through what he did with, uh, uh, with Parkland, uh, with Southwestern Medical School, with his interest in research and improving individuals' lives. But he also was very interested in, in the development of Dallas and how Dallas could uh, become stronger and more effective. His support for creating the uh, Annette Simmons uh, School of Business and Human Development at SMU, I think, show a great sense of, uh, of his desire for very strong institutions to be in Dallas, his hometown. Quiet as he was, he was passionate about love for his family and for his country. He loved his family. Uh, he just absolutely adored Annette. And, and I can remember him telling more than once, he said, I would have never had any friends if I hadn't have ever married Annette. And uh, yeah, he, he cut a wide swath. And, uh, and this state and this country is, is um, 
better because he lived here in Texas and he, and he lived in America. But Harold was one of the most uh, exceptional, extraordinary businessmen that I've ever known. He, he's a very smart uh, guy. He uh, saw things very uh, clearly from a business perspective. He was just exceptional and extraordinary. Really, I consider him a good friend and very, very fortunate to have known him. Just as we can appreciate his hard work and how he took his skills and turned it into the creation of uh, a mighty fortune, we have to honor his generosity. And we have to honor the way he did it because he did it in such a way as it would encourage, if you will, literally thousands of others to contribute as well. And it's done so much for the state of Texas, for the, the United States, for the city of Dallas. Um, so, you know, as a businessman and as a leader, uh, he left a legacy. And uh, I know he's looking down on us tonight, and, uh, and we're all saying, we love you, Harold, and good job.